Good afternoon everyone. I welcome you all to the session of mass flow or pressure flow hypothesis. Students, this theory is the most accepted theory which talks and explains the translocation of food via phloem. It was given by Ernest Munch in 1930. Students, we already know that in plant we have vascular tissues like xylem and phloem. Xylem carries water particles and transports water to every part of the plant and similarly phloem is the vascular tissue that will that will transport food to different parts of the plant. Phloem is a tissue and is made up of different type of cells. The main cells which are responsible for the conduction of food are my sieve tube. So students, the column you can look at, this column is a sieve tube. Sieve tubes are formed by alignment vertical alignment one over the other of small cells called as sieve cells. So one cell is sieve cell and the complete arrangement is called as sieve tube. Sieve cells are joined end to ends to each other by a plate which is perforated and this plate is called as sieve plate. Sieve plate has numerous pores in it and those pores are called as sieve pores which will regulate or those will permit the flow of food particles through them. Phloem has another significant cell that, that judges and that controls the transport of food material. That cell is companion cell. Companion cell is nucleated while as the sieve tube cells are not nucleated. They don't have a nucleus. So these are my companion cells. Before starting the story of food transport, students try to recall what could be the source of food formation. Yes, it has to be your mighty green leaves that will perform the process of photosynthesis and by the process of photosynthesis they will form food that is sugar which is glucose that is readily converted into sucrose. And the sucrose is transported from sieve tubes of leaf or sieve tube of the stem to sieve tube of the root. So first sugar will enter into the companion cell. In companion cells, sugar transport is mediated by an active process. That means energy ki requirement hai, ATP kharch karna padega, to active process se food andar a jayega. Students, you may have studied in your previous classes that whenever solute particles have to cross living part of the cell, that pathway is called as symplast pathway. And all symplast pathways require energy. So therefore, it's an active process. Once sugar molecules enter inside the companion cells, they are very much ready to enter into the sieve tube by a simple process called as diffusion. So up till here, sugar from leaf to companion cell, then to sieve tube, the process is called as phloem loading. So we'll write the stages of translocation as well. So I have my very first stage ready. which is phloem loading. Now, 
Now inside the phloem loading, first loading in, first in companion cell. And then in sieve tube. For distinguishment, we'll write sieve tube of stem. Kyunki aage jaake amne sieve tube kisi or jaga ki bhi dekhni hai. That would be a root or some other part. But here, therefore I've written sieve tube of stem. Now when sugar molecules enter into the sieve tube of stem, what will happen? यहाँ पे इस जगह पे शुगर मॉलिक्यूल्स इंक्रीज हुए जिसकी वजह से सॉल्यूट कंसेंट्रेशन बढ़ा एंड आप लोग जानते हो जहां सॉल्यूट ज्यादा वहां वाटर पोटेंशियल कम एंड इफ यू सी दी नियर बाय प्लेस्ड जाइलम ट्यूब हैज इनफ ऑफ वाटर मॉलिक्यूल्स नाउ इट्स क्वाइट प्रिडिक्टेबल दैट दीज वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल्स विल एंटर फ्रॉम जाइलम टू फ्लोएम राइट थ्रू अ प्रोसेस कॉल एज Osmosis, that is movement of water from the region of its higher concentration to the region of its lower concentration. Now creating a turgor pressure of C2 of the stem as sugar has entered. What happened? Hypotonic solution, hypotonic condition. created where there in sieve tube of stem now hypotonic solution se kya hua water entered from xylem to students for my Simplicity or ease, I will write ST that will stand for sieve tube. So, water entered from xylem to sieve tube of stem. Now, let us see what will happen next. Now, as we see that in the diagram itself, that water has entered in this sieve tube, number one, and the top valley. And if we see the beneath present sieve tube, has low water molecules and further next valo may be pani nahi hai. So what will happen? Ulti automatically the top cell has high hydrostatic pressure, zada pani hai yaan pe and niche wali cell may has low hydrostatic pressure. Now what will happen? As we know that water always flows from high hydrostatic pressure to low hydrostatic pressure. So therefore water will come down automatically and additionally carrying solute molecules that is sugar particles with it as as a stream of water carries suspended sugar particles so will be the water in sieve tube be doing ठीक है तो pressure difference की वजह से hydrostatic pressure difference की वजह से पानी नीचे की ओर move कर रहा है और इसी रीजन की वजह से दिस थ्यूरी इज कॉल्ड एज प्रेशर फ्लो हाइपोथेसिस और मास फ्लो हाइपोथेसिस बल्क में आ रहा है नाउ स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव टू कीप वन थिंग इन माइंड दैट वी विल नॉट से फूड पार्टिकल्स राधर वी विल कॉल फ्लोएम सैप एज फ्लोएम सैप कैरीज वॉटर इन एडिशन टू द सॉल्यूट दैट इज शुगर पार्टिकल सो वॉटर एंटर फ्रॉम जाइलम टू सी ट्यूब ऑफ स्टेम which raises hydrostatic pressure now phloem sap translocates from sieve tube sieve tube st of stem to ST that is sieve tube of let us say root सबसे distant part लिया इसलिए मैंने इसको root ले लिया सबसे नीचे वाला part the beneath tallest plant तो यहां पर मान लीजिए ये sieve tube root की है all right and ये top वाली होगी stem की close to leaf 
Now, what was the reason? We will write with a different color because this is important and this is the crux of this theory. Due to difference in the pressure gradient. Alright? So, SA Pani with water, water with sugar will come near the safety of root. Now, lastly, what will happen? The demand of sugar was to the root cell. Now, root cell ko sugar kyun chahiye? To carry out respiration and to carry out respiration will require sugar. Respiration will lead to the formation of ATP. Lekin us ATP ke liye sugar chahiye. Ab sugar molecules will come out to the root cell in the same way they came in. Alright? So, what will happen? Sugar molecules again, they will come to companion cell and then from companion cell to root cell. Again, it is symplast pathway which will again require energy. So, again I am writing active process. Now, what has happened? Sugar molecules have come to the root cell. Students, the point which secretes or which synthesizes sugar is called as a source while as the part which requires or which does not have enough of sugar is called as the sink. So, here root cell is my sink and here leaf was my source. Depending on the seasons, the source and sink can be reversed. For example, in early springs, jab green patte nahi hai, us time pe kya hoga? Food will be stored in the root and that food will be translocated up to the young leaves. So, at that time, the root will become the source and young buds and young leaves will be called as the sink. Now, phloem unloading. Sugar ke bahar nikalne ko will call as phloem unloading. And the food will enter to the root cell and the root cell is my sink. So, at the top we have leaf that is the source. So, students three stages were pretty clear that this was, the first stage was phloem loading. The second stage would be from, from the water entry, water entry, this point, jo continuous column run kiya, ye hamara second stage hoga, aur phloem unload karna, hamara third stage hoga. Students, first actively loading here the tube, the continuous movement via C pores would be passive process and finally when the food comes out, sugar comes out will again be active process. So, I can write on my board that this first process, the loading process active Second stage, passive and again the last stage, active. Lastly, the last point of discussion is that when excess of these or all of these sugar molecules move out to the root cell, now what will happen to water molecules? 
water molecules have to move back why because as sugar leaves here water potential will increase that is more number of water molecules and it will create a hypertonic condition and these water molecules will come back to xylem tube which will have at that time a lower water potential so i think these stages comprehend the steps of mass flow hypothesis i hope